decent view, or do you want to zoom that, in more? No, that's great. We want to capture these uh, narrow streets up here and the crazy people who just uh, the people who pass you <laughs> pass me when, or, when there's no visibility. park in the middle of the road and. Experiencing the conditions that you're sampling is is invaluable. I really think it is, yeah. and you know you can get part of the way there just by participating in the weather discussions and stuff online. Right. right. But to be there and kind yeah. of see how things develop during the day, visually looking at the Kaiser and stuff is, I think, makes a big difference. Yeah. I mean, the, the first couple of days we were here, we had some open cell convection came over, you know, these mesoscale patches of uh, open cells, and I was amazed at the amount of precipitation that fell from those when the clouds were over us, and then how, how uh, wide the clear areas were, and just how clear it was in the middle of those. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I'd get that same feeling if I was here. You look at the satellite photos and you see it on the radar and it, you get one impression, but until you, you experience it, you know where the hell it is. Maybe I'll give kind of a side <laughs> view here of the countryside. There are these rock walls everywhere that <laughs> looks, look like they were built a long time ago. Yes. I can't imagine how long some of these rock walls have been here. Here's the airport. G1. Oh yeah, G1, here's Mike's window. 